Spine surgery is confusing, but it doesn't have to be. These are five common spinal implants we use in spine surgery. This first one is an O-lift cage, O-L-I-F, oblique lumbar interbody fusion. Essentially, it does a spinal fusion in the lumbar spine. This is used when there's either a fracture or instability in the spine and it provides stabilization. This next one is a lumbar disc replacement, also known as an LDR. This is a motion sparing device and this one's inserted in the lumbar spine through the abdomen, usually at L4, L5 or L5, S1. Now working our way up the spine towards the neck, there are two types of implants. There's a cervical disc replacement or a CDR. This is another motion sparing device that's used for disc herniations that fail non-operative treatment. Disc replacements in America have been occurring since the early 2000s, and there's about six different devices out on the market. This is an actual patient of mine. The reason I like these x-rays is because it shows the flexion and extension from a motion sparing disc replacement. The next spinal implant is a cervical fusion, specifically an ACDF, anterior cervical discectomy fusion. This is the gold standard for cervical spine surgery. Another form of treatment is in the lumbar spine. It's a lumbar fusion. This is an A-lift cage, A-L-I-F, anterior lumbar interbody fusion. Here's where I use these implants. This is an actual patient of mine who had severe disc collapse, pinched nerve tunnels. These implants can open the nerve tunnels. They can restore normal curvature or lordosis in the spine, and they can provide fusion when there's instability of the spine, when one bone slides forward on the other.